this is a free audiobook animation for Save the Bees by Bethany Stahl. Get your copy on Amazon.com, link in the description. I hope you enjoy reading along with this story. In the yard outside the apartment, a small buzz sounded from the center of a flower. Out of the petals popped a little bee named Clover, who has <laughs> fluffy yellow stuff all over her. What is that fluffy stuff? Mateo asked the little bee. The little bee buzzed. It's pollen. Pollen? I don't know what that is, said Cho. Hmm, look at that bee. Cho lived in the apartment above Mateo. They are neighbors. Pollen is what helps plants grow. The pollen sticks to my legs so I can carry it to other flowers. That is how new plants are made. It's called pollination. Clover explained. I love baby plants and pollination. Cho squealed. But why do you carry it to other plants? Is that your job? My mom makes deliveries for her job too. She delivers mail to everyone. Mateo said. Yes. It is a part of my job. I collect and eat nectar. Clover smiled. Flowers make nectar, which is delicious sugary food. Then bees like me keep the nectar in our honey stomach. Clover explained. Do people have a honey tummy? Mateo asked. No, humans have one stomach, but bees have both. Clover said. What do you use your honey stomach for? Cho asked, full of questions. It sounds pretty silly. Are you sure you want to know? Clover laughed. Yes, yes, yes we, we want to know. know. Mateo and Cho said. My honey stomach is like a backpack, but on the inside of my body. I can carry nectar all the way home to the beehive. Once I get home, I can empty the nectar back out to the bees that stay in the hive. Then they chew and chew just like it's bubblegum. The nectar will turn into thick, sticky honey. Clover explained. Whoa! Cho and Mateo said in unison. We love honey! Thank you for making it! I love it too, but it's getting harder to travel to and from my home at the beehive. Clover said sadly. Why is that hard to travel? Cho wondered. The more buildings, roads, and parking lots people build, the less space there is for flowers to grow. Without flowers, there's no nectar and no pollen for me to carry. Clover frowned. So us bees are traveling farther and farther to find nectar, but sometimes we travel so far we forget how to get home. So no more plant babies. I love flowers, and we need food from plants. Mateo said, and no more honey either. Cho chimed in. How can we help? Mateo asked. I've got an idea. We can plant more flowers. Cho smiled. Good idea. Maybe we can build a bee hotel so you can take a break when you get tired and other bees will be there. If you get lost, you can work together. Mateo said. Wow, that could help my friends and me. Clover jumped up and spun in the air. What kind of flowers are your favorite, Clover? We can put each on a few of our porches. Mateo said, looking for a pot and soil. We love sunflowers and lavender. Marigolds and peonies are also delicious. My friends love all kinds of herbs, so even your gardens for food can be shared with us too. Clover yawned. <sighs> it was time for Clover to head home. Mateo and Cho waved goodbye as they went into their apartments. Goodbye, Clover. It was a new spring day. Mateo and Cho had an idea. They wanted to surprise Clover. We can reuse plastic just like Ogwe taught us. My mama helped me cut the top off of this bottle and put a string through it. Mateo showed Cho. Cool. My dad brought home some bamboo, which is a renewable resource. Cho smiled. 
The friends placed the bamboo in the bottle and hung it on the wall of their apartment building. Soon Clover was able to visit again. She brought along her bee family so they could meet her friends. Surprise! Mateo and Cho cheered when they heard Clover buzzing near. To Clover's surprise, each porch had many beautiful plants. Mateo's family planted a beautiful herb garden to use fresh herbs in their food and help the bees. Cho's dad planted lovely lavender plants around the border of their porch. Clover smiled and buzzed around, spreading pollen from plant to plant and collecting nectar with her friends along the way. Clover's friends cheered. Clover looked around and noticed that Mateo, Cho, and their families had every apartment add at least one plant to their porch. This is Greece! Buzzed a bee. Your friends are so nice! Another one buzzed. We have one more surprise for you! Mateo grinned. <laughs> Clover followed him and seen a beautiful bee hotel, perfect for her friends and family. They could now take a break between their home and the flower field. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Clover and her friends cheered. Mateo and Cho exclaimed, Together, we, we can, can all save, save the bees! bees. If you enjoyed this story and want to watch more, don't forget to like this video and subscribe.